Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your go high level account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you add an admin user into your go high level account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to add an admin user into your go high level anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that you work with a lot of different virtual assistants, sometimes to help manage your go high level. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your go high level account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my go high level account and this is the home screen. Now, before we go any further, I want to let you know that when you are assigning a user or an admin into your go high level account, you're going to get to choose if you want them to view your agency or just one particular account. So for example, if I'm an agency owner and I have five different salons that I work with, I can assign an admin user to one particular salon, or I can assign them to be able to view all of the salons that are under my account. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here on the left side of your dashboard. What you're going to do is scroll all the way to the bottom until you see this button here called settings. It looks like a gear icon. Okay. Once you do that, it's going to open up another menu here on the left. And in order to assign a team member or an admin user, click here on team. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to see all of the admins and users in your account. You can see this is just a test account with one person, which is me. However, in order to add an admin or a user, click on add employee up here on the top, right? It's in blue. Okay guys. So here is where you can go ahead and add a team member. So first, what you're going to do is go ahead and add in their name, first and last name and their email. Okay. So I went ahead and entered that in next. You're going to need to enter in their email. You need to make sure you use the correct email because they're going to receive the invitation and they have to accept the invitation for this admin access down here. This is really important. So you're going to do user permission. So you get to choose what kind of access they are going to have. So do you want them only accessing the campaign, online listings, communities? And if there's something in here, you don't want them to be able to have access to, you can go ahead and uncheck it. And then what you're going to do is just scroll down. And this one is really important here, user roles. So as I was telling you earlier, you can give them access to the complete account as an agency, or you can assign them an account. So with agency, they're going to be working under me under all of the account. So again, to use that example, if I had five salons that I'm working for, if they are an agency user, they can access all five salon. Now, if I only want them to access one salon, I'm going to click here, click on account and then add sub account. I'm going to open that up and then I'm going to choose the salon that I want them to have access to. So maybe just this one. Also here, you need to choose their role. So are they going to be an admin or are they just going to be a user? Usually I'll put them in as an admin. Okay. And once you have all set that up, click on save down here on the bottom, right? Okay. Just a quick second later, the page refreshes. Now you can see I have a new admin user right here and it does let me know the location that they have access to right here. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to add an admin or a user into your go high level account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.